One aspect of the FMGS is the assistance provided to the pilot to keep the flight safe and within the flight envelope. This assistance covers the engine failure compensation, the low speed protections, the autopilot flight director mode reversions. Let's look at some of these protections in detail. In case of an engine failure with autopilot on, the FMGC ensures an automatic yaw compensation in all modes. This is achieved by the FAC, using the yaw damper at takeoff and go around and the automatic rudder trim in all modes. Furthermore, the Autopilot Flight Director Speed Reference System Pitch Mode automatically adjusts the reference target guidance speed in case of an engine failure at takeoff or go around. Low speed protection is achieved by the following features. The auto thrust speed mode, the low energy warning, the alpha floor protection and the wind shear protection. When the auto thrust is on and in speed mode, if the speed target is selected by the pilot on the FCU and the speed target is below VLS, the auto thrust will not allow the speed to decrease below VLS. Speed, speed, speed. If for any reason such as turbulence, shear, auto thrust off, the aircraft speed drops significantly below VLS, a repetitive speed, speed, speed oral warning is automatically triggered by the FAC. It drives pilot's eyes to the speed scale so as to readjust thrust, for example. This warning takes into account the aircraft deceleration rate and current flight path angle, which explains the low energy wording. It is available when the aircraft is on departure and arrival between 100 feet and 2000 feet radio altimeter and in configuration 2, 3 or full. If the aircraft speed continues to drop below the low energy warning and the angle of attack increases above a given threshold, the alpha floor function of the auto thrust is triggered. The auto thrust commands full thrust, i.e. toga thrust. The angle of attack threshold, which triggers the alpha floor protection, is processed by the FAC as a function of aircraft parameters such as configuration, weight. When alpha floor is triggered, auto thrust is turned on if it was previously off, indicated by a white auto thrust on the FMA. Alpha floor in green is displayed as the auto thrust mode. The alpha floor function is available from liftoff down to 100 feet radio altimeter. Note, the alpha floor protection is lost in cases of combinations of failures such as SFCC1 and FAC2 or both FMGCs or the alpha floor protection is also lost in case of engine out when slats flaps are extended above configuration 1. When exiting the alpha floor conditions, the auto thrust mode reverts to toga lock mode, which indicates that toga thrust is locked regardless of thrust lever position. To regain thrust control, you have to switch off the auto thrust. You now have manual control of the thrust. You may re-engage the auto thrust when convenient. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear.
If the aircraft encounters wind shear conditions detected by the FAC, a red wind shear message is triggered on both PFDs, associated with an oral wind shear, wind shear, wind shear warning. This reactive wind shear warning is available from liftoff to 1300 feet at takeoff and from 1300 feet down to 50 feet during landing with at least CONF1 selected. The FMGC provides the following protections against wind shear. At takeoff and go around with the autopilot flight director speed reference system vertical mode which commands a pitch ensuring a minimum positive rate of climb despite a potential speed drop. In approach with the ground speed mini function the managed speed target in approach is automatically adjusted with wind variations so as to ensure that the aircraft ground speed does not drop below a minimum value. Note: If the angle of attack gets too high and reaches the fly-by-wire angle of attack protection, the autopilot disengages. The fly-by-wire maximum angle of attack protection assists the pilot to best react. Let's now review the mode reversions of autopilot flight director and autothrust. The mode reversions are automatic mode changes which allow a comprehensive auto flight system behavior when the pilot modifies a target on the FCU. Happen in case of loss of navigation mode. Ensure a flight envelope limit speed protection. Let's review the reversion due to FCU altitude changes. Autopilot is on. Suppose we are in climb, using either open climb or climb to flight level 250 as cleared by ATC. While crossing flight level 225, ATC requires us to level off at flight level 220. We therefore select the FCU target altitude to flight level 220. The autopilot flight director vertical mode reverts to vertical speed on the current vertical speed value. Notice also that altitude blue is not armed. It is then up to the pilot to decide how to regain flight level 220. By dialing the desired vertical speed target i.e. down to minus 1000 feet or by pulling the altitude selector to engage open descent. Note, you can imagine the same scenario in descent. Let us see another case. We are now capturing the target altitude, altitude star green. The ATC clears us back up to flight level 250. We therefore select the FCU altitude target to flight level 250. The autopilot flight director vertical mode reverts once again to vertical speed with the current vertical speed value. It is now up to the pilot to decide how to regain altitude target. By pulling the altitude selector to engage open climb or by dialing the desired vertical speed target i.e. up to plus 1500 feet. These are the essential mode reversions linked to FCU target changes which you may have to make in case of ATC late clearances. They ensure no discontinuity in aircraft behavior and leave you full authority to satisfy these clearances. Let's review the reversion mode due to the loss of navigation mode. Suppose we are in climb using climb to flight level 150 as cleared by ATC. While reaching flight level 90, ATC requires us to turn to heading 340. We therefore select the FCU target heading to 340. The autopilot flight director vertical mode reverts from climb to open climb as the lateral mode navigation is replaced by heading. 
the aircraft pitch behavior is unchanged. Note, if an altitude constraint was targeted with climb mode, it reverts to the FCU selected altitude when open climb mode engages. We have seen the loss of navigation mode in climb. On the right side of the screen, you can review a similar scenario in descent. When heading mode is engaged, which causes the loss of navigation mode, descent mode reverts to vertical speed mode, with the current vertical speed, speed value, and speed mode engages on auto thrust. The aircraft pitch behavior is unchanged. Note, the loss of navigation mode may be caused by a flight plan discontinuity. We will now study the mode reversion when the flight director orders are not followed. Manual flight. Suppose the aircraft is manually flown with flight director on, autopilot off. The current vertical mode is open descent and the auto thrust mode is thrust idle. In order to demonstrate the next reversion, the aircraft is pitched up, disregarding the flight director orders given by the flight director bars. The speed decreases. When the aircraft reaches VLS minus 2 knots or VLS minus 17 knots with speed brakes extended, the auto thrust reverts from thrust idle to speed and thrust is readjusted to recapture the target speed. Let us see another case. This time we are in climb with thrust climb open climb modes engaged. For any reason, we do not hand fly the flight director pitch bar and we pitch the aircraft down. The speed increases. When the aircraft reaches VMAX plus 4 knots, the auto thrust reverts to speed mode. Thus, the thrust decreases to recover the target speed. Note, depending on the aircraft configuration, VMAX can be VMO, VLE or VFE. The flight envelope limit speed protection is ensured by autopilot or auto thrust with flight director on, autopilot off, mode reversion so that at minimum speed or at maximum speed the flight director bars are removed. Therefore the auto thrust reverts to speed thrust mode in order to regain target speed. 